Okay, today we're looking at what I call spy balloon, and we start with the song Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Of course, if you this spy balloon made news a few weeks back. And when it was almost, you know, <laughs> almost causing a panic in the US, that there was a Chinese spy balloon, and then the outcry was that you need to shoot it down. Of course, for me personally, I went to check out the CGTN news site, and the Chinese actually described it as a airship, and that, you know, it's just gathering meteorological information, you know, but the US, it was, you know, almost like a panic, as if the US was not also spy, even if it's a spy balloon. Everybody basically spies, and it goes back all the way to scripture. Uh, Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. Now, Joshua, the son of God, sent out two men from Acacia Grove to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of Rehab, a lot named Rehab and Lodge there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, The old men have come out here tonight from the children of Israel to search out the country. So even though spying is kept as secret as possible, you know, countries try to, you know, hide their tracks, but usually these things you cannot, you know, because once in a while, people are going to be, are going to be halted, people will know that they are actually spies. And that's why a lot of the times, you know, uh, people's life are actually in danger, if, particularly if you're a spy in a foreign land, you know, uh, you can be arrested and then you have the exchange of spies. <laughs> it actually goes back to biblical times. You know, and God actually encouraged people to, you know, to be able to send spies, including in this particular instance. Uh, but whether they're spying or not, uh, the ultimate victory is actually from God. 